the way that I tell my customers um, to lubricate their horns is to get some spindle oil, which I think uh, Selmer sells some spindle oil. Um, Yamaha used to sell, I don't know if they still do, they used to sell a little tiny container of key oil with a needle oiler. And I, I try to get my customers to get that. And there's a method that I tell them to use to oil their horn. Um, you take um, your slides, you pull your slide up, and you pour valve oil in both the slides. And you push the slide without opening the valve. Push the slide all the way down and hold it until it doesn't want to spring back out from air pressure. What that does is it flushes the oil out through wherever it can go out. Some of it will go up the tubes, some of it will go into the space between the bearing and the valve stems, the bearings and the valve stems, which is good because it carries all the old stuff out of there. Then take off the valve cap and take the heavy oil, the key oil or stem oil, and oil around the, the gap between the bearing stem and the bearing on the removable valve, and the gap between the stop armature in the bearing on the fixed valve. You get a good bead of oil in there. And then again, without, without opening the valve, you can work the valve a little bit, but leave the valve closed and pull this slide halfway out and hold it there until it doesn't want to move anymore. Now what you've done is you've drawn that heavy oil into the gap. And the heavy oil is there to uh, hold the lighter oil in while you're playing. Now you want to tune and adjust your slide with the valve open so that you don't push the, the oil in or out. So that's what I recommend for, for oiling the horn and it gives you good silent, silent action.